to come into this? I mean, it, it was, is, are these elements of you or do you feel like it's always been, you know, uh, your husband's kind of? No, no, like... no. He, when we married, he was fantastic. He said, I know the house. It was looking very sad when I came. And he said, you can do whatever you like. And he didn't have to say it again. <laughs> very few husbands will say that. To, to kind of walk through this space then, because I know that maybe some because of this... Because I, I, will, I, will, I will say, the, the decor, for instance, of the writing hut versus uh, uh, Gypsy House, there's a different uh, yes. sensibility Absolutely. in place. One that's yes. stri strictly about practicalities, yes. although, there, although, although there's wonderful art that he uh, chose that's yes. in here, yes. and you as well. Yes, yes. Uh, I, yes, I mean, if, if, if we, I think I was very, because I loved art and, and I loved beautiful furniture and things like that, so we had a lot in common. And uh, there was one moment when I said I'm going to paint the walls of the drawing room a colour called Suffolk Pink, uh, and whether the paintings would look good. He said, no, go on, do it, do it, do it, do it. So I did it, and I re began to rehang the pictures, and he said, it's fantastic, it yeah. works beautifully. When, when you walk through spaces like this, did that inspire you to kind of use this as a palette for the movies? The mo movie yes, itself? I think in a way palette, palette may be is an under it won't even capture because what we actually did was we recreated one object after another throughout this house, um, many things in this room, and um, and and then we built this house. One of the characters lives in this house, uh, you know, a house modeled on Gypsy House and other buildings on the property. And beyond that, I ended up in the course of time more and more doing things in my own life that are actually inspired by this. <laughs> to, to, I got to but, but, but also, but for instance, the, the, the greenhouse that's in the back, you built the greenhouse in, yes, the, last, in the last 10 years? Uh, or, it, or it yes, it, it, we finished the wall vegetable garden about two years before Royal died, yes. And that's, and we're, I, I, I'm planning to build one, oh, about, I, which I wanted to talk with you about yes, later, definitely. but off camera. <laughs> Um, then I got to ask, what, how did you, what was the initial meeting like when you, when you first met Felicity? And like, and what, what is it that uh, is about Wes that you kind of realized that you would want him to take on a project like this and, and allow him to go with it in a way that would be respectful to, to the work of your husband? Well, it was basically food. Um, <laughs> he took me, I was told he was going to take me out to lunch in New York. And so I arrived at this restaurant. Uh, which was uh, very small, but very smart, and it had mink coats and things, and I thought, oh my God. And there was Wes, dressed rather like Fantastic Mr. Fox. And he shot up, and I said, goodness, what are we doing here? And he said, the cheese souffle is fantastic. So I said, fine. <laughs> and then we had a long lunch together, and by the end of the lunch, I thought, without a doubt, this is the man for Fox. When I, when I heard that you were going to do this film, I was a bit taken aback because this is not the kind of milieu that you would kind of be working in but at the same time when I saw the film it was of course it is so so to kind of take on a film that is not expected of you as a filmmaker then what kind of challenges did you feel that you had to kind of overcome and, and was this always part of your game plan to do something like this? Well I don't know I probably don't I've, I, I don't I, it's it's one of those things where I could look at it afterwards and say, hey, this might have been my game plan, or that might have been my game But in fact, I, I, it was just as simple as, this is a book I always loved, a story I always loved. And I think maybe stop motion, we could do something and we'll see what we can invent to uh, expand it into a movie. And, but I have no idea what it's going to turn out. And, and, and so much from, from, from Doll outside of the book eventually found its way into the story and into the movie and things that I didn't, I couldn't have anticipated. So the end result is, um, you know, nothing like what I, what I had in mind Appreciate particularly, it. I think. Yes.